Hello, welcome back to C programming. So now we are going to see another uh, C program. In this program, we are going to discuss about the usage of local variables and global variables. So we have a simple program uh, coded here. Uh, we have to include files stdio.h and conio.h and we have the main function used here and in the main I have declared two variables a and b and which are assigned some values a equal to 20 and b is having a value 60. So I have used a function clrs here to clear the screen so that we will be getting the output in a fresh and clear screen and here there is a title c language variables global and local and here one more print of statement is used to print these values of a, a and b so usual way percentage d percentage d because uh, it is of integer type the values of a and b are integer values and get ch at the end so that the output screen will be stable so that we can see the output let me run this program this is nothing but storing some values two values in two variables a and b with the values 20 and 60 and just printing it out control f9 yeah c language variables global and local and a equal to 20 b equal to 60 we have two variables here a and b a is having a value 20 and c b is having a value 60 so this program is quite simple and clear I suppose here I am going to do some modifications int uh, gbl a this is another variable gbl a I declared the variable here and instead of a b c instead of b i am going to sorry instead of a i am going to use so anyhow this is a as well there also a instead of uh, a i am going to use gbl a oh sorry gbl a equal to 20 and instead of a I am going to change the value as gbl a yeah, gbl a is nothing but a variable I have given this name just for a change global variable gbl stands for global that's just my naming convention you can flow, follow your own uh, style of giving names for the variables let me run the program there is no difference a equal to 20 and b equal to 60 so this is just a variable which is declared outside the main and which is called a global and here b is a local well, let me change the name of b as lcl that is local lcl b control f9 running the program as usual there is no difference Okay, let us declare one uh, method here. Uh, one function, sorry, in C language we call it as function. Methods are in Java. Void, uh, that is a return type of the function which we are going. Okay, let me give the name set. Set val. Uh, the name is because I am going to use this method for uh, function for setting some values here. We have a global variable g b l a. I am going to set a value here g b l a equal to 90. And here after this position I am going to reassign a value for GBL A oh sorry I am going to just call the method C 
set val just I am going to call set val and let us run and see what will be rendered as output we are getting 90 and 60 a equal to 90 and b equal to 60 the first value equal to first number and this is a 10 number first number equal to 90 and second number equal to 60 why it is happened so because GBLA is assigned a value 20 but it is being replaced by calling this very uh, this method or function set val and in the set val what is done in the set val a value of 90 is being stored in global a so at the time of printing we are having the latest value that is 90 that's why we got 90 as printed as the output so because this gbl a is a global variable we can change the value or we can use that variable at any of the locations within this program so this value can be used by this main or the set value. So let us play with local variables. What is this happening? So we have a local variable declared here. LC, LCLB. That is local B, local B. I am going to give local B equal to 100. Let us see. Is this a valid statement or not? I am going to compile it it's giving error the system is saying undefined symbol lclb because lclb is a local variable which is declared inside the main method main function and it is available only within main it is not available inside server and if you want to use a variable with the similar name you can declare the value here variable here You can declare the variable, uh, variable uh, A, uh, local variable B, and you can assign a value here. But let us run uh, and see what is going to happen. The local variable B is having a 60, and after that, the method is called here, the function is called here. That means both the values of local A and local B should be, sorry, local B and global A should be replaced with the latest value. But it is not going to happen. The reason is that local B is only local to this particular function. The variable local B is available only for set val. It is not available, available for this main function. So we should get an output 90 and 20 for the variables again. Yeah, we are getting 90 as the first number and 60 as the second number so we are not getting 1000 or 20 in this case so this local b the variable one which is declared inside set val and the variable declared inside main even if both of them are having same name or the same label for them both are different there will be a memory location assigned for this one that will be separate and there will be another memory location assigned for this particular variable uh, to store its value. So both will be two different memory locations as far as the program is concerned. I think we have a global variable here. This global variable can be accessed here and it can be accessed here too. Okay, I'm going to give another statement here. Um, G B L A plus plus. I'm going to increment the value of global variable just before printing. So if it is set as 90 just before that, that is going to be incremented. So we should get an output 91, and the second number will be 60. I suppose this is good enough for giving an idea about the global and the local variable. So the global variables are declared globally so that it will be available 
throughout the program and the local variables are declared inside and it will be available only within the function. And of course, if you are using different functions in a program, uh, then only uh, we will be able to use or we will be able to find the difference between global and variable, uh, local variables. Uh, if you have only the main function in your program, you may not be able to distinguish the difference between global and the local variables. I hope you could have followed this program and if you have any doubt regarding this program, please feel free to contact me. Bye from now.